yeah, it's kind of an all over chair yoga class that's uh, a little bit of core, but generally well being for your whole body. So um, start by sitting comfortably in your chair and sit nice and comfortable. Just think about all of your joints where they are. So your ankles under your knees and then your legs kind of quite comfortably placed in line with your hips and your shoulders stacked up above your hips and then your head somewhere, ears above your shoulders, nice central and then relax your arms down on your legs and we're just going to focus on breathing and I want to think about uh, your ribs expanding so as you breathe in you're thinking the ribs go out at the sides maybe and then in as you breathe out just it might be a small gentle movement you can just feel the ribs expanding sideways for a little bit think sidewards movement maybe the sides of your elbows go out a little bit as you breathe in and relax down a bit as you breathe out and then I want you to change that thinking the breath going forwards and backwards so your ribs expanding in front of you and behind you as you inhale and then relaxing exhaling as it comes back in and you might find naturally you breathe a little bit more forwards backwards or out to the side or actually most of us don't really think about it your body just does it for you but i want you to now try whichever way you're doing and it could be sideways and forwards backwards or both together as you breathe out your next exhale i want you to just pull up the diaphragm so underneath the lungs this big muscle in your abdomen helps push the air out and then as you breathe in that ab the diaphragm lowers it's almost kind of like a bellow and then it comes up as you breathe out helps push the air out so really think about the mechanics of your breath and feeling it come in and out in perhaps a more aware way, which is really good for us to do, just to train our minds and think in a slightly different way. So one last really deep, big, deep breath in, nice, smooth, relaxed breath, really filling up and then breathing it all the way out. It can be in and out through the nose or the mouth if you've got a blocked nose we're next going to move a little bit with our breath so just the neck inhaling looking up stretching the front of the throat and then exhaling looking down stretching the back of the neck so just once more with your own breath it could be slowly or a little bit more quickly drawing imaginary line with your nose up and down and then we'll draw a line round to the left first as you breathe out breathing into the middle and then draw a line with your nose over to the right stretching the sides of the neck and coming back to the middle Uh, let's now think about moving our shoulders so I want you to put your left hand on your left shoulder and as you breathe in just open the elbow out back behind you a little bit and then exhale bring it across and forward so we're just thinking about the shoulder and maybe following it with our gaze exhale so exhaling brings the elbow across and forward and then inhale stretches it out and back and I want you to think about opening up this side of your body so using the muscles in your shoulder and elbow lead the way but also your torso you get a little bit of a twist and you can keep your hand on your shoulder 
keeping your hand on your shoulder like that or bringing your whole arm stretch and then exhale the whole arm comes forward and across you're almost kind of waving reaching over inhale open maybe look back as well exhale come forward and if you fit if it feels comfortable just kind of find where it's good for you inhaling exhaling and lowering and then just notice how that feels sorry i'm stretching the other shoulder <laughs> so notice how that feels on that side so you've hopefully opened up the left and then we'll do the same on the right so fingertips on the shoulder relax the shoulder down try and keep face calm all of the posture good elsewhere and we're just going to inhale the elbow goes back a little bit and then exhale bring it forward a little bit inhaling opening maybe following with your gaze exhale inhale and it could can even be kind of up and back exhale down and forward and if you're comfortable there stay or add the full arm stretch open right hand goes back and then exhale it comes forward almost like a wave and really think that motion from the hip to the shoulder on that side inhale exhale once more if you feel like it's good inhaling opening maybe smiling exhaling lowering relaxing good stuff come back center roll the shoulders back a little bit either together or alternate and then roll the shoulders forward a little bit and um, we're next going to just shuffle forward a little bit on our chairs and do some pelvic floor lifts so palms on the knees nice and relaxed inhale stay exactly where you are then exhale, use the core to pull up the pelvic floor, almost like you're lifting an elevator. And then uh, inhale, exhale, pull up on the tummy, pull everything in, use that diaphragm. Inhale, fill up, relax the muscles. And then one last time, this imagine this elevator pulling up as you breathe out. Pelvic floor lift, hold at the top, and relax, should feel good. Um, what have I put next? Oh, side stretches. Okay, we're just going to put the hands, hold the chair, the sides of the chair, and again, sitting up nice and tall, breathe out. Breathe in, the left arm comes up, and it can just be halfway. And then we exhale, we just stretch over. Inhale, stay where you are and think the breath, stretching this side and then exhale lower. And then we'll do the other side. Inhale, the arm comes up. Exhale, we stretch across. Inhale, breathe into the lung open on that side. And then exhale, lower. And we'll do once more each side. So inhaling, go with your own breath. So inhale up, exhale, stretch. Inhale, breathe, hip to shoulder stretch. Exhale, come up to center and lower. Inhale, arm floats up. Exhale, side stretch across. Imagine your back quite flat as a side. Inhale, open that lung on that side, the hip to shoulder stretch. Exhale, lower. Brilliant. Okay, we're next going to um, move our knees apart from each other. Like so. So again, adjust your seat so you're comfortable. Um, this is a wide-legged shoulder stretch. So we're going to put the hands on the knees. 
we're going to inhale sit up nice and tall and then we're just going to exhale and lower the left shoulder over towards the right inhale to the middle and then exhale the right shoulder over to the left so we're aiming shoulder towards knee obviously no way near and we're just continuing to do that as we exhale we go over one way and down inhale to the middle exhale lower to the other way now you can change the the um, position of your knees and your feet but as you do the twist pull in the diaphragm and use that motion to help you move and then once more to each side i've lost count actually as long as you've done the same number on each side i always tend to go am i right first or left so once you've done an even amount each side what we're going to do is think about our feet to gradually move them back in so my feet are pointing out i'm just going to point bring the toes in and then lift the heels, bring the heels in. So we're going heel, toe, heel, toe, bringing the feet back together. And then we're just going to look down at our feet. And I want you to lift the toes up and spread them really, really wide. And then scrunch the toes down and in. So lift the toes stretch them out trying to make space between the toes that's really hard <laughs> they spend all the day together and then scrunch the feet up so toes curl under be careful don't get cramp because this is the kind of thing that we don't do with our toes spread them wide scrunch them up and then place the feet down on the floor inhale toes come up exhale lower heels come up so just rocking on your feet heels back toes up and then toes down heels up so think about the calves being involved just slowly rocking on your feet a few a couple more times good for our heels and ankles and then feet flat and then we're going to put our hands back on the sides of the chair again we're going to breathe out, oh sorry, no, we're going to breathe in and then we're just going to lift our left knee just up, breathe out in, lowers and then breathe out, the right knee comes up, breathe in, lowers. So keep doing that but think about pulling in the tummy, breathing out, pulls up the knee using the core muscles on that side breathing in lower and then breathing out pull in the knee breathing in lowers now you can do one more each side or you could try and do both together now you have to hold on to the chair for that inhale lower does use your spine as well inhale exhale pull in the knee Inhale, lower. And then just relax. Good for tummy. Let's um, stand up. So carefully come to a standing position. And we are going to stand behind uh, the chair back. So we've got some space. I'm going to turn side on so you can kind of see what I'm doing a little bit better. But we're holding on to the back of the chair. We're going to do a posture called locust, uh, which is normally done lying on your floor on, the t um, on your tummy. But um, we're going to do it standing up and getting the benefits from it without. So it's a little, we're going to start just with the heel and toe raises that we just did. So exhale back on the heels, inhale, come up on the toes. Exhale, lowers the heels, lifts the toes. So this is the kind of movement that we're doing, but we're just going to bring in a little bit of a back bend as well and a forward bend. So your hips, as you come up on your toes, your hips come forward as well and your shoulders might go back a little bit. 
exhale, heels, and the hips go back a bit. So it's kind of like a cat cow on your standing, rocking on your feet, just to get hips and legs and the whole body working and then come back to center. And then what we're gonna do is step our right foot back a little bit. Okay, so it's only about a foot. Um, I'm first putting my toes on the floor back there. Um, you might find you can put your whole foot flat depending on your leg stretch ability. And what we're gonna do is inhale, sweep the arm up that side and do a bit, bit of a back bend. Exhale, lower. So I'm trying to make a lovely big kind of curving shape with my body at the back. And what you can try to do the last time is lift the back foot, hold the chair and scoop the heel back and the wrist back. Keep breathing, holding and then lower the arm, lower the foot back next to the left. And again, just notice how you feel. So this does work the lower back, it works the um, hamstrings and the glutes, as well as the arm as well, it's called locust. Let's try the other leg. So just step the left foot back, placing the toes just gently on the floor behind you. The weight's still in the front leg, really, we're just starting this kind of arch in the spine. So we breathe in, sweep the left arm up. Maybe lift the chest and the gaze, breathe out, lower it down. Breathe in once more, maybe reaching a bit further. Think about this lovely curve with your left side all the way from the toes up to the fingers. And then on the third time, inhale, come up and maybe lift the back foot. If it's quite strong, we'll try and stay here a little while, keep breathing. And then relax on an exhale, arm comes down, feet come back together. And just as a counter pose for this back bend, we're just gonna walk backwards, keep hold of the chair, and then just come down a little bit with a forward fold. So this forward fold can be as far as you like. It's just good after we've curved our spine backwards just to arch our spine the other way. So trying to relax a little bit here. Keep a soft bend in the knees if that helps. And imagine this long line from the crown of your head all the way down to your tailbone. And this is a really good place, if you are comfortable, to try that breathing again with your ribs going out to the side. So filling up. Sidewards, outwards, exhaling, pulling in the tummy. If this isn't good for you, you can walk closer to the chair with your elbows on the chair back instead. Just finding a forward bend after our back bend and breathing here for a little while, expanding, pulling in the tummy. And then slowly coming up from whichever, wherever you put your arms, carefully stacking everything back. We're next going to turn side on to the chair and do some more. It's, again, there's a lot of waving or stretching. This is a side crunch. So I'm holding onto the chair with my left hand. Doesn't matter which way you are. So basically the, the arm and the leg away from the chair. We're going to inhale, lift the arm and then exhale, elbow to knee on this side. So inhale, 
stretch. Doesn't matter where the foot goes, I'm touching the floor with my toes. And then as long as I'm using my core to crunch my knee up to my elbow. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, crunch. One last time, inhale, lengthen. Nice deep breaths in and then exhale, crunch, elbow towards knee, doesn't have to touch. And then relax the arm, relax the hand. Notice a difference. And then just turn yourself around. I'm going to have my back to you. Very rude. <laughs> Keep hold of the chair. Inhale, the other arm comes up. And then exhale, elbow to knee, out to the side. Inhale, lengthen, point the toes, point the fingers. And exhale, crunch. Inhaling, lengthening, stretch. Exhale, crunch, elbow towards knee. Fourth time, four on each side. Long spine. Use the core on the that side. Crunch together. And then relax, arm down, relax, leg down. Excellent. And then we are going to do, come back to face the other way. We're going to do a balance. So this can be holding onto the chair or letting go. We're just going to do tree pose. So the leg furthest away from the chair, the knee goes out to the side and you place this, the heel on the inside of the ankle or the foot on the inside of the calf or higher up. Just don't place it directly on the knee. So find a place to pl pl carefully place that foot. Think about the shoulders and the hips being in a nice um, sort of, yeah, rectangle shape. And then if you want to, you can bring the palms together. Focus your gaze, balancing on that standing leg, like the strong trunk of a tree. And then if you want to, if you feel steady, you can lift the arms out to the side. Uh, all trees are welcome. It doesn't matter what type of tree you are. If you're a tree wobbling in the breeze today, that's fine. Keep breathing and then relax the leg, relax the arms. Sometimes one, you know, certain days you're less steady on your feet than others and sometimes more on one leg than the other. So try the other foot. Just turn and face the other way. Holding on to the chair to start. Thinking through the trunk of the standing leg and then turning the knee of the opposite leg out to the side. Heel on the ankle. Sole of the foot on the calf. Higher up. And then bring the palms to your heart if you feel steady. Focus your gaze, concentrate. It's okay if you wobble, it's fine. Keep one hand in the palm to heart and hold on with the other if you need to. And bring the arms up if you'd like or just the arm away from the chair. Keep breathing. And then relax, arm and leg down. Excellent. And we will just come back to that forward fold after we've stretched the sides. So elbows or arms on the back of the chair. I'm trying to imagine that length from the crown of the head all the way down out to the tailbone. Keep a soft bend in the knees. And breathe all the way in, out to the sides. Imagine those ribs moving out and then coming back in. Just sort of three dimensional breath. And using the abdomen to pull in as you breathe out. 
really good for us. Okay, just slowly uncurl to come up to standing. So on an inhale, imagine each vertebra stacking up middle back, upper back, the head coming up last. If you do need to carry, keep holding onto a chair, because obviously coming up to standing, bit of a head rush. Be careful. I'm just gonna do, we're gonna do chair pose with a twist. So you can hold the back of the chair. And chair pose, you're basically trying to look like the chair in front of you. So the heels are under the hips, so the hip width apart and the toes tracking nice and forwards. We're gonna inhale, think up nice and tall. And then exhale, just bend the knees and sit back on an imaginary chair. So we keep the chest lifted, the shoulders back. Keep breathing. It's quite strong in our legs here. And then steadily come back up. Shaking out one leg, other leg. You might find... You you might prefer to have your feet closer together, so it's up to you. Maybe experiment this time. What we're going to do is the same move, but we're going to have, if we want, if we can, our palms at our heart. So inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, sit down. Inhale, stay where you are. Exhale, try and move left elbow to right knee. Inhale, come to the middle. Exhale, move right elbow to left knee. So you look over to the left. Inhale to the middle. Exhale, hold the chair, stand up nice and tall. So it's very strong in the legs. And then when we add the twist, we're trying to use our core muscles to help with that twisting movement. If that's too much, you can just sit down. We are going to try and repeat that again and maybe sit back a little more. Okay, but it's just go to a point that feels like it's a challenge, but it's also, yeah, it's not uncomfortable. So inhale, long, palms to the heart. Exhale, sit back in your imaginary chair, knees track forward. Inhale, stay where you are, lift the chest and shoulders back. Exhale, left elbow towards right knee. Inhale, come back to the middle with the palms, lift the chest. Exhale, right elbow to left knee. Inhale, come out to the middle, smile, and then stand, exhale, relax. Oh, very good. Twisted chair, well done. Let's sit back down now. <laughs> the twisting, yeah, is, it can be quite uncomfortable for us to scrunch everything up, but it's so good for so many of our organs digestion, lots of things like that. Okay, we're sitting in the front of the chair and we're just going to do some kind of acupressure moves, which are quite nice. So I'm just going to bring my elbows and my knees and then I'm going to put my thumbs on the inside of my brow. Okay, so it's just where my eyebrow meets the top, the bridge of my nose. And it sounds funny, but what you're going to do is try and let gravity work. So your brain, your skull is actually quite a heavy part of the body. Your arms hopefully are pushing upwards, but just gravity is coming down. And it might feel a little bit uncomfortable, obviously, if it's not right. And you might then just find a point in the middle of your eyebrows with your thumbs. Again, letting gravity just do the work. And then all of your fingertips and thumb on your temples 
And this is kind of less gravity, just more self-massage. It's good for us. It's relaxing, trying to stay relaxed with your feet, legs, back, just arms and head working. We're next going to interlace the fingers and put them on the back of the neck. Okay, so you've hopefully just finding something that feels good for your body. So if it depends where your legs are, if this is uncomfortable, you can just use the weight of your head. Don't have your elbows on your knees. So we're just trying to use the hands and again, gravity to work on the back of your neck. And in this position, if you are leaning forward, trying to do the full expanding breathing whilst gravity's working on the back of your neck. If you'd like, you can use your thumbs just on the sides of the back of your neck or out along the tops of your shoulders. A little bit of self-massage is always good. Finding any points. And then a really good careful thing to do from here is to try and lift up slowly. Keep the hands where they are. Carefully breathing in, coming up, and then bringing the sh elbows towards each other and trying to do some circles with your elbows. So your hands are helping move your neck and shoulders, going circles one way and then the other way, and then relaxing the arms gradually down. Letting the blood flow the other way in the hands as well. Should feel really nice. Yeah, easy things to do just to look after our body and keep us moving. Okay, sitting back into the back of the chair and sliding the feet away so that our legs can be really relaxed. And we're just going to do a final resting in seated position. So closing the eyes or gazing at a point softly somewhere in front of you. Allowing both legs to feel balanced and relaxed. Both arms. Place your hands so that your arm weight is supported by the chair and then a similar feeling your back really supported your shoulders relaxing down your jaw soft no clenched teeth and let's just try some of that three-dimensional breathing inhaling all the way in, feeling your torso expand and then exhaling, feeling it contract, relax, inhaling all of the oxygen and things you need and exhaling all of the carbon dioxide things that you don't need. Inhaling positive thoughts and then exhaling everything negative, any worries or stress, just blow them away. And then allow your breath just to Come in and out naturally, its own rhythm. Think about your feet making contact with the floor. The 
in every tendon in the toes, the soles of your feet and heels, all relaxed after stretching and working today. That feeling floating up through the ankles to the calves, every single muscle relaxing, feeling supported by the earth beneath you, to the knees, up into the thighs, all those big muscle groups being worked really strongly, just allowing them to relax, supported by the chair, Every exhale, releasing any tension, relaxing any areas. And that feeling carries up through the hips, all of the muscles in your lower back, your abdomen. middle back, the shoulder blades around your shoulders, across to the top of your chest, just the muscles used for breathing gently, rising and falling, but everywhere feeling relaxed. Next to the fingers, the palms, the back of the hands, wrists, no tension, adjust if you need to, to make your palms feel really relaxed and supported, your forearms, elbows, upper arms, shoulders, all of the muscles in this complicated area of our body that we've worked hard today. Breathe in to send oxygen and then breathe out to relax. And then let that feeling flow over the back of your neck back of your head, over the crown to your temples, your forehead smooth and soft, everything relaxed around your eyes, your cheeks, your mouth. So your whole body is fully relaxed. The inside you feel calm and still. Just bring a small movement to the corners of your mouth, lifting slightly. Thanking yourself for looking after your body today and then taking some slightly deeper breaths. To send oxygen to fingers and toes, just give them a little wiggle. And then maybe on the next breath in, 
some energy to wrists and ankles, elbows and knees. Maybe last of all, some shoulder movements, rolling them backwards and forwards. And then lastly, opening your eyes and letting the light come back in and hopefully waking up a bit but feeling better for having done some yoga. Thank you for practicing with me today, Dimaitha. How you think? Deep. How you feel? And how you like?